Hello and good afternoon everyone. I was going to do this uh, review on Friday but uh, I wasn't feeling too well as well and when I got back I found out that Netflix dropped Brooklyn Nine-Nine season 7 so I started watching that instead. These companies, streaming companies, need to get together and talk about their schedules. Well we're dropping that then and if you're doing that, that's going to compete. They may not watch that. So, you know, come on, people. There's only a certain amount of times we can watch <laughs> all your programs. So, doing it now, I've rewatched the second episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And this is going to be my review of it as well. Uh, I thought it was a good, another good episode. Now we're getting some backstory now. We're now... They're called the Flag Smashers, the group. They're a group of super soldiers. So how do they get the serum? Uh, we met Isaiah, which Bucky fought, a super soldier, an American one who fought against Bucky in the Korean War. <laughs> a couple of hours ago. <laughs> so, But he didn't want to give up any information about having been imprisoned by the government and Hydra and tortured for 30 years so of course he didn't want to give up anything then we got Sam and Bucky arrested I don't know how I don't know why all those cops showed up but we needed to get to the setup with the doctor and that was a good little interaction the staring one that's too close no that's too close and yeah I thought it was really well done their friendship played off it's like an old married couple all these arguing, and thank goodness we got rid of Red Wing. Oh, it's just a distraction, it was a nothing. But, you know, I think going back to Civil War, that's always going to get referenced. More on that as well in a little while. Um, but yeah, so because Nat was talking about him as well, and Civil War, and how he helped out, and no, so glad Red Wing's gone. They fought when. So Bucky and Sam teamed up to Berlin to go fight the Flag Smashers, who thought the world was a better place after the blip. Who could say they're wrong? Perhaps they've been set up as the bad guys by forces unknown, which will probably become apparent in the next few episodes, because we're only a third of the way through. Um, so yeah, so they found out that they've stealing medicine as well, because obviously... The government or the people, organisations that are helping, are helping the, the ones who come back from the back from the blip, rather than the ones who have survived, who've been there all through it. So let me show about how that story develops as well. And then we've got John Walker, new Captain America. It feels strange saying that without having Chris Evans, of course, and Steve Rogers. An iconic role that he played in it. Uh, try not to pretend to be like Steve Rogers. I wish someone would say that. You may have the shield, but you are not Steve Rogers. Which is not. He's just he's just a soldier. There's nothing special about him. He's, he's not a super soldier. You know, the, the speech back into the first Captain America one, that good becomes great. Bad becomes worse. I can't do the German accent, so don't let me try that one. And so it sets up where does, where did these super soldiers come from? How do they get the serum? And that sets up Zemo. He's back. And he'll be back in the next episode. So I'm wondering how the answers that he's going to have. How will he feel being locked up for his crimes in Civil War? It's going to be great to see if he's going to help these two come up with the answers so yeah I thought it's it's, it's going along nice it's a nice contrast to WandaVision which was you know all about the magical elements and the, again the you know with a blip the fallout from that and the emotional impact it has it had on everyone involved again this is the same continuation but just in a different setting more grounded setting so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I cannot wait for part three. Hopefully, 
I will be doing a reaction to that a bit earlier and two days afterwards. But yes, and also for your non-football fans out there and Spurs fans, uh, how boring has this international break been? I don't support England during the international break. The only news I look for after it's happened, before or after games, is has Arsenal got any injuries? Yes, we had Erdegaard, Biswell and Saka, but potentially light injuries. So that's good news. It'll be back next week with Liverpool. We'll be back to do reactions to the matches as well. Because this would be boring. We play San Marino, for goodness sake. Ugh. But yes, so hopefully you're all well. Take care, and I'll see you all very soon. Much love.